Hello, it is Social Media Saturday, December 30th, 2023, nearly the end of the year. Beautiful morning here in the Phoenix, Scottsdale, Arizona area. Not a wisp of wind in sight, few clouds in the sky, crisp, cool, beautiful winter day. And a uh, report came out earlier this week from the uh, once respected school known as Harvard, their School of Public Health did a study to try and figure out uh, and conclude that social media is uh, a main culprit in damaging American youth. These kids with all their mental illness on full display on the social media sites themselves with all this uh, gender dysphoria and wanting people actually thinking child genital mutilation is a good thing. And, uh, and, and, uh, and I do uh, mispronouncing me and, uh, you know, getting all triggered and, and microaggressed over everything and just being really weak and useless. And so uh, this study trying to figure out where's the culprit so maybe they can stop it and uh, get kids to uh, to stop all the mental illness. Uh, we'll see. That seems like a, a, a big uh, issue. And it seems uh, it's kind of ironic since the once respected University of Harvard is one of the big uh, uh, problems. Uh, the way they teach kids and young adults all of that woke BS that damages them like crazy. And you see it on full display recently with their president of the university being uh, uh, completely incompetent and, uh, and fraudulent and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, so here's the deal. Uh, if you for some reason, which I don't re recommend, but you know, your business is your business. If you're using the top woke social media sites to, because those are the big culprits, to advertise to minors, teenagers, young adults, you might want to watch out. Possible regulations and changes will be coming soon. So don't, as always, I recommend don't put all your eggs in one basket. The top, uh, uh, Sites that raked in the most advertising off of kids were YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. And as to be expected, at the very bottom of the list is the least woke, the only non-woke uh, and leftist and communist uh, platform, Twitter, uh, and now X, uh, got less than 2% of its advertising revenue from advertising to kids. So 98% on the up and up at X uh, to be expected, of course. But all these woke, ridiculous sites contributing to the, uh, the, uh, the declining mental health of America's youth, uh, the study showed. Now, one uh, flaw the study pointed out is they relied uh, on most of their research on metrics taken from other sources uh, in the media. So you've seen all the numbers of how many hours uh, I mean, uh, young kids are spending like five hours a day on social media, 99 minutes a day on TikTok, 80-something uh, minutes a day on YouTube, even adults spending like 45 minutes a day on TikTok and YouTube. So, you know, social media, it's a big deal, and you can make big money with it, but if you are one of these uh, companies that are making money off advertising to kids, you know, figuring out, as entrepreneurs do, that's what we do, is we figure out how to get around rules and regulations so we can offer solutions and make things happen. But if you're doing these kind of uh, uh, questionable uh, tactics, be forewarned, there might be changes coming. Then again, these woke social media sites are really good at coming into Congress and telling them they're making all changes and acting like they're making changes, and then they simply rename things or just adjust the algorithm to take away that problem and just present it in a new way. So possibly you can keep making money off kids if that's what you want to do. I don't recommend it, but I don't judge. Your business is your business. And that'll do it for Social Media Saturday, December 30th, 2023. I will catch you back here again tomorrow on New Year's Eve, Sunday, fun day. Until then, over now. Bye-bye.